Well, former President Barack Obama, backed by popular demand, and boy, did he make an appearance promoting a policy he and President Biden actually started together years ago, the Affordable Care Act. ABC News Deputy Political Director Avery Harper joining me now. Avery, before we even talk about the plan, uh, can we just talk about this uh, <laughs> rock star, you really did feel like you were at a, a rock concert. I mean, clearly it was a packed room uh, with a purpose, uh, but the cheering, the ovation, it was like he never left. And the energy, quite different from what we're used to. Right. Uh, this was definitely a homecoming for former President Obama. Has not been to the uh, White House in quite a while. Uh, you saw there, folks, uh, uh, you know, all the applause. It, he is undoubtedly still a very popular president, and that's exactly why uh, the Biden administration wanted him there today. All right. So let's really get down to the reasons that that, that he did pull in Barack Obama. Is it for uh, health care, or is it looking forward to uh, what we might be seeing on the campaign trail and helping to boost some pretty sagging uh, poll numbers when it comes to President Biden, or is it a little bit of both? Right. I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, you have to understand that uh, this is coming at a time where uh, Biden's approval numbers are just dismal. If you look at the latest Quinnipiac poll, uh, his approval ratings are at uh, 36 uh, percent. And this, this is coming at a time that is very difficult for uh, President Biden. And so uh, we understand that uh, there is also these uh, these these things that they are working on in terms of health care, uh, right? Trying to lower the cost of, of health care for American families because there is what's called the family glitch. 10% uh, is what insurance coverage plans are capped at for single folks, uh, but that's just not so for families and, and for folks who are married. And so uh, what we heard today was a proposed change that would allow for families to get tax credits if their coverage plans are higher than 10% of their income. So how difficult do you think it'll be to sign up? I mean, let's not forget, right, when this all first started, it was it was a nightmare. I mean, I remember the website problems. I remember trying to find information. It was a huge problem for so many Americans. I mean, it really took a while to get off the ground and get organized. Right. Well, this is certainly something that is not going to take place immediately. Uh, this is, is proposed to take effect in January if it's approved. This still has a lot of work and a lot of things that have to be worked through in order for it to happen. Uh, but the uh, idea is that this is just another announcement from the Biden administration uh, to tackle uh, the fact that the cost of living is rising for uh, Americans all over this country. We saw the Biden administration also, uh, you know, put some uh, things out about releasing oil from from reserves in hopes of yep. getting uh, that gas price down. Uh, we also heard uh, from the Biden administration about uh, adding uh, measures to their proposed budget in order to tackle inflation long term. Uh, and so this today is about health care, but it's all in the long term about uh, getting the cost of living down for Americans. The uh, thing that's going to be the issue for them is the fact that none of this is going to uh, create the uh, substantial immediate relief that I think a lot of Americans are looking for. Well, one glaring detail was left out of the announcement, and that's how much will it cost and who's going to pay for it. Do you think that that will hurt Biden in the polls? Not a lot of details there. Right. Not a lot of details. And I don't necessarily think that that's what's going to hurt Biden in the polls. I think that what's going to hurt Biden in the polls is the continued uh, soaring cost of living, right? The uh, fact that Americans are really feeling the pinch to uh, do everything uh, that they normally do, right? Put gas in their cars, keep food on their table, uh, keep a roof over their heads. So the Supreme Court nominee uh, Ketanji Brown Jackson set to be confirmed on Friday uh, before Congress adjourns for a two week Easter recess. What do you think? Could there be delays or do you think this is going to be smooth sailing? Get right to it. Right. I, I think that the, the path for Judge Jackson is really clearer than ever. Uh, we had those announcements from uh, Senators Romney and Murkowski yesterday that they, too, are going to support uh, Judge Jackson in her confirmation. Uh, at the very beginning of all this, we knew that Democrats did not need the buy-in of any Republicans at all to get this done. Uh, but now they can tout uh, that this pick was bipartisan. Uh, and we're going to see her confirmed later this week. She's going to make history.
All right. Yes, she is. And it's about time. OK, finally, since I have you, let's talk about Georgia, the race for governor heating up. Uh, we saw Democratic candidate Stacey Abrams, uh, I mean, meteoric rise on the national politics stage. Uh, true rock star there in the state. Will it be enough for her to finally beat uh, the Republican incumbent this November, you think? Listen, if I had a crystal ball, I could make a lot of money on uh, knowing what's going to happen in that race. The fact is, it's going to be really close. Uh, we know we're likely and we could see a rematch between uh, Stacey Abrams and uh, Governor Brian Kemp. Uh, but there's still much to watch, and that's something that we are looking at really closely. All right, Avery, thank you so much. Thank Stay you. tuned. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.